Thanks for checking out our video. Feel free to join our free weekly newsletter called Pop Culture Annotated and also join our Discord server to talk with us and others that share your fandom in pop culture entertainment. Links in the description. Hey everybody, how's it going? So after rewatching a few more times the special look trailer that came out for Avengers Endgame, in, I guess, coincidence of the fact that tickets are now available, so go get your tickets if you can. I know when I tried getting my tickets, the whole thing was like on a wait period. Like, I've never been on a 20 minute wait period before for a website like Pandango or MovieTickets.com or anything like that. So, I guess, you know, props out to everybody trying to get tickets that they instituted that type of policy in place. But yeah, in this video, we're going to talk about how time travel, that theory was almost basically confirmed. And I say almost basically because it's about 90% confirmed. Obviously, it can't be 100% confirmed until we actually get to the movie itself or if the directors or cast members come out and say, yeah, time travel, we did that. But for Avengers Endgame, the first biggest thing for me was seeing Tony in Avengers Tower. Now, this was very evident when you look at the scene of him in the bar from the first Avengers movie when he's talking to Loki. You see the glass behind him, all those things. And this in the special look trailer comes into place after he looks at the photo of him and Peter Parker. Now at a first glance everything's going by so quickly you don't really tune into it that much but after a few more looks when you look at it from a lens of you know I've seen all the surface stuff already I want to get more into the you know deeper meanings of stuff that's when you start noticing hey that background is really familiar to the background from when Tony was talking to Loki and he gave that whole speech where he says we have a Hulk and all that good stuff. So that was a clear getaway right there. And I'll compare both of them on the screens for you guys to see it. And so you guys can see the connection of what I'm talking about. Now, also afterwards, we see Cap and Tony talking in New York. Now he says, trust me. And then it looks like Captain America and Iron Man are shaking hands there, even though at a further glance, it looks like that's actually a cut scene from Ant-Man shaking hands with Captain America. So kind of, you know, nice little misdirection there by the Russo brothers. But still, it looks like a plan's gonna be put into action by Tony, and Cap has to quote unquote, you know, just trust Tony on it, which is where the whole trust me thing comes from. This would fit with set photos that show Tony and Captain America together during the Battle of New York set, with Tony not being in his gear, but instead being in like one of those blue shield outfits, like the people that are escorting Loki, while Captain America himself was in his Avengers 1 gear. So I wouldn't be surprised if maybe during a humorous scene, Captain America knocks out his younger counterpart or maybe Tony Stark knocks out the younger Captain America. Our current day Captain America takes his place briefly, like momentarily, just to get Loki's scepter because during those set photos, it looks like what they're going after is Loki's scepter. Captain America on set is holding something that's not identified, but due to the shape of it as a staff-like shape, the most likely thing would be Loki's scepter considering that had the Mind Stone within it. And also during the Battle of New York, we know that the Tesseract was also there at the same time being the Space Stone. So this makes a lot of sense if they're trying to either acquire or replicate Infinity Stones, they would want to go to a place like the Battle of New York because there's already two stones right there for you. Now we also see Iron Man flying around New York City, which by itself really isn't a big deal. However, it doesn't really make sense when you consider everything kind of going on. Not really anything as far as we know is taking place in New York City and really it looks like he's flying pretty high up and like he's about to land based on how his like posture is and the only place that high really that he would be flying around to is Avengers Tower and since Avengers Tower no longer is Avengers Tower or belongs to Tony as we saw it was sold in Spider-Man Far From Home it looks like this may be also a part of the sequence going back in time where maybe he's flying up there and then he takes off the armor and then we get to the moment I talked about before where he's at the bar or maybe he's flying up there because he's going to get the Tesseract aka the Space Stone. Comment your guys thoughts about this, what do you guys think about it? Obviously yeah, like this new trailer gave a lot of spoilers if you really look into stuff, but comment below and we'll see you guys later.